Hey everybody, you've all been asking me to do a cooking video ever since I posted that picture onto Instagram. So here it is. Also, I don't know if you can see it, but I got a new candle and it smells like pasta and it's just perfect. It gets me in the mood for cooking and it's just exactly what you need. And you can see I finally put my twinkle lights up and it's, the whole thing is just complete. I really feel at peace here. Okay, so let's get on with the tutorial then. As always, I put everything in the description below, all the links of all the products I use. And as always, I give my honest review and so you know that you are getting the best of the best. I'm not sponsored, I am just telling you, I want to let you guys down and give you something that isn't worth it. So to start, you want an anchor glass measuring cup with water all the way to the one cup line. I use this measuring cup just because it's really good at measuring things and holding water. So I really suggest it if that's something that you need to do often. Now you're going to want to do this six times. Now I didn't mention this before, but the pan that I'm using is a IASP1E6 from Walmart and you should pick it up. It's so convenient and I just ugh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so now you just put that on the stove, which I put on medium high, but you can just do what works best for you and wait till it boils. And now it's time for us to get our Kraft mac and cheese. So I'm just gonna open it. Remove the cheese packet and then pour this into the pot. While the noodles are cooking, I will occasionally use a genuine rubber spatula. I really recommend picking one of these up because it really helps stir things. Especially for this dish, it keeps the noodles from sticking together and I just love it. Let the noodles cook for 7 minutes. Okay, now a lot of people think that they can skip this next step, but you can't. It is crucial to pulling the whole recipe together. It's really easy, so all you have to do is pour the noodles into a colander. And for this, I use the Mainstays colander, and it actually came in a set of two with a bowl, and it is really convenient. This is four quarts, holds all the mac and cheese I would ever need. So now you have your colander of noodles. Now we're almost done, just stick with me. We just need to add the milk, butter, and cheese. I just use one fourth of a cup of Kirtland milk, four tablespoons of butter, and one Cache Valley cheese stick. I add the cheese stick for extra cheese flavor. Then you just stir it all together, add the finishing touches, and voila! <laughs> now you have some easy mac and cheese. Tell me how it turns out in the comments, and also let us know if you have any options that are cheaper or just alternatives to things that I showed you. Yeah, that's all for this week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and don't forget I post a video every Thursday. Have a nice day. Bye!